another game right after the one I just played. This time against Nickelback20. I already don't like this guy. Alright, what is Nickel Nuts up to? Actually, he's a really nice guy. Take that back. Despite his, despite his name. Alright, I'm with Sliver Queen, the new Queen deck again. And he is with my long term nemesis, Fata Adele. Oh yeah, I'm just going to cover her up because I hate her so much. I have a, uh, I have a very solid hand here, given that it's got yeah, a yeah. stolen library. Um, and here we go. Fortunately, yeah, I'm going first. Gonna, going first here. I'm going to try. With all of your army, mm -hmm. like, like surrounding you. That's exactly right. With my entire army. You'll see, okay? Alright, so I played Dryad Arbor first he's right off the top, which is great. He's, he's in the game. I know. And he has the standard opening that makes Thada 50 times more dangerous. Soul Ring on turn one. Mm. Arg. And Walking Atlas also. A, uh, an interesting card, actually, given that it puts the lands into play untapped. Certainly good for accelerating here. It's much more crappy without Soul Ring, of course. I draw this. Hugely clutch. My plan at the moment, of course, is to just deploy Sylvan on turn two and then uh, hope to top deck a fetch land it's or a blue mana source to banish a little But Hierarch makes that guaranteed. I could definitely go in with the Sylvan plan. I know. Hang on just a sec again. So I played the Hierarch. I could have gone in for two there, but no reason. There's Fata, my nemesis. Right on, and of course I have no blockers for it, despite playing a creature deck. Um, I'm running sketch, I draw blue mana, but got it covered. Actually, blue mana is really nice because of the brainstorm. Blam, gone from game. Suddenly looking extremely solid. Island, untap. Island, bribery. <laughs> Suddenly not looking so solid. And here I'm thinking, oh my God, he's going to get terrasted on. At the very least, at the very least, he's getting terrasted on. At the the very uh the very best he's getting, I don't know, Sphinx or something. Consecrated Sphinx would be a nightmare too. At least I have Imperial Seal, although I don't have any black mana. So my plan here is to brainstorm. If I see black mana, then I'll put Imperial Seal back. Um and go with another plan. And there's black mana, but there's Cradle and Hermit too. He's got all these enchantments in plan, I have Aura's Shard. So I really wish I could see what he briberies first, but ultimately I decide that I don't have time to make Imperial Seal do its thing. Back to tomb, of course. I just need the mana for diversity to, tr to top deck something. So I'm thinking if you just his play, I'm hoping is Terastodon, because that's the best card to get. Terastodon just totally owns me here. But if he doesn't get Terastodon, or if he gets Terastodon, that gives me three elephants and I can go cradle. This is why I'm thinking long term here. Cradle, tap cradle to, uh, or I should say tap, uh, yeah. So I got, I play cradle, I tap hierarch. I put out ore shards, and then that'll allow me to derange Hermit off the cradle to uh, the following turn to blow up all of his enchantments. And then I only have to contend with the Thrasted on itself, which is not that big of a deal if you've got millions of blockers for it. And he gets Sarah Ascendant after all that worry. Sarah Ascendant. That would be construed as a little bit greedy, but maybe he's one of those guys that's bitterly fought against this creature so many times without playing white and hated it the whole time and now he's thinking to himself, yes, it's my opportunity to play with it myself. Here's a hint though, if you're casting bribery and your opponent has six and nine and eight casting cost guys in their deck that win the game straight up, it's probably better to play those than a one one. Just saying. Anyway, there's great hope for me as soon as he does that. Top tech mystical tutor, which is so awesome. I'm just gonna play shards here and set up a turn. Daddy. I'm another land, which I'm very happy to see, honestly. There's another land, and now I find out why he wanted Saracen in so badly. Though, of course, I don't know, Terastodon or Sphinx with Fire Streaker on is also pretty awful. Daddy. You know, 9 power first strike is a little hard to touch. But no, he wants to gain 12. Daddy. And so here we go. Mystical Daddy. Tutoring, what do you get? Daddy. There's a ton of good choices here. Daddy. I could get Regrowth. I could Daddy. get Cyclonic Rift, which I just added to the deck. Daddy. Yeah, what's up? What's that? Okay. What's 
think. I'm almost done recording. I could get Cyclonic Rift, I suppose, to uh, just bounce my guy back to my hand, but it's not really that useful given that I'm below 30. The combo's incredibly well with Sylvan, but um, I decided I don't really want that either. And I think very long term in this case, this Hermit is so awesome right now that I ultimately decide I want to set up a combo turn. This works out perfectly. There's a Sylvan, there's a Demonic Tear. I can't Mana Vault to, to make it even better. So, he has to go AFK for a second. Yeah. Play the Vault. Yeah. So I've got two green. Hang on a second. There's yeah. five. Actually, I decided I don't want to use the Cradle to do that. Because yeah. I don't really need to cast Enlightened Tutor this turn. Yeah. Desmond, what? Maybe after we don't see the game, maybe you could do me some gold. Okay, I can. That's fine. So there's the Hermit. Crush. Eats yeah. his whole board. Well, three of his guys at least. Now I just have the 6-6 six, six to contend with. Demonic Tutor. Six mana in my pool. One remaining. What could be good there? That's right. Karn Liberated. That, my friends, is how you swing a game of magic in one turn. Holy cow. And I've got a Night Tutor for opposition in case he, uh, and I'm positive he doesn't have a counter, so unless he top decks one, I mean, it doesn't really matter, but I can eat it out of his hand, too. So I can, uh, Enlightened Tutor for opposition, lock the game up. But he knows it's over, there's no point in continuing. That's quite a comeback from a turn one Sol Ring into turn two Thata, into turn three Bribery. It's a Sliver Queen back for you. Hope you enjoyed that one. See you later.